Mercury salts and its solutions are highly toxic. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Welcome back everyone, today we are going to make Denegus reagent. For this you will need 6.8 grams of mercury 2 sulfate and 100 milliliters of 14.9% sulfuric acid. We began by weighing out the mercury 2 sulfate. We started off by transferring the mercury salts to this bottle. 100 milliliters of dilute sulfuric acid were measured out using this measuring cylinder. Exact concentrations don't really matter for this test. We actually just need a solution of mercury 2 sulfate which is also known as mercuric sulfate. Mercury 2 sulfate with distilled water by itself would react to form something called basic mercury sulfate and sulfuric acid. Basic mercury sulfate is insoluble in water and therefore an excess of sulfuric acid must be added to keep everything in solution. The bottle was swirled a few times and, except a few small grains of mercury sulfate, everything dissolved. Now to the alcohol. Besides ethanol and isopropanol, we are going to use tert butanol. Unfortunately, the stuff in the bottle froze and I first had to put it on top of a heater. Because of its melting point of 26 degrees Celsius, it can be expected to be a solid most of the time. On the right you see some ethanol, in the middle some isopropanol, which actually contains a small amount of sulfuric acid, but that shouldn't interfere with the reaction, and on the left you see the third butanol. After being added to the test tube it actually decided to freeze immediately. To make stuff a little easier, some distilled water was added to get rid of the stuff that stuck to the side of the test tube. To the fun part, a small amount of Denigus reagent, or however that stuff is called, was added to each test tube. The sources I found on the internet said that with isoleophins and tertiary alcohols, red or yellow precipitate is formed. However, this didn't turn out to be the case directly and I decided to heat up the test tubes. Immediately something yellow started to form. I didn't find any specifics on the reaction that's really going on between this reagent and the tertiary alcohol. But because of the yellow, I am pretty sure that mercury 2 oxide is formed. The precipitate got thicker and thicker and with secondary and primary alcohols no yellow precipitate was formed. And there you go, this was the Nagus reagent to test for tertiary alcohols. By the way, if you know any specifics about this reaction, let me know down in the comments. I really want to know. We don't want to lose the mercury and because it's one of my favorite elements, I am going to recover it. For this reason all contents were added to my mercury recycling beaker and they were flushed a few times using hydrochloric acid. A video on the recycling process will follow soon once I'm finished and if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you soon!